Evening all. My shot's had time to look. It's been very hot over here the last few days. I've been doing gardening in my view. Yeah, had another fever. I don't know. Yes. Just in my local hospital. Had another uh, another well, brain scan, basically. So would you like to know that routinely in Cheshire, and I'm sure many other parts of the UK, uh, prisoners are routinely being tortured. Tortured. <laughs> don't use that word lightly. Tortured as in they've been on life saving, life preserving medication for, well, since they were basically 15 years, at least 15 years, been certain medications, painkillers and heart medications. These medications, one of them in particular, is because said person, i.e., me, for years, well, decades, has suffered from a life threatening condition called atrial fibrillation. New medical experts will know what that is, or uh, it's where the heart starts beating erratically, often due to stress. Uh, George Bush had it, and Tony Blair had it. Um, often it needs an electric shock to the heart to put the heart back into proper rhythm. Well, often have this is often caused by high stress situations, like for instance being <laughs> repeatedly arrested by Cheshire police, mostly on perjury. You know, perjury, lies, lies, both their constables' lies and interference in a relationship, and also uh, your ex partner and Paul Golding's orchestrated arrests. Yeah, but prisoners all over the country, I'm sure, and in particular Sandy Moore Detention Centre in Runcorn, are routinely tortured in that they are denied their life saving and pain relief medications that have been on for decades. I, mean, I first had this trouble, I was in, I've been in the Whiston Hospital, I've been in um, Liverpool, a, co a chronic coronary care unit, I've been in Wigan Infirmary uh, coronary care unit, and there's another one as well. And I've just found out that, uh, well I won't go into too much detail, I don't give away too much, but uh, yeah, these uh, these these Jobsworth characters in Runcorn, um, and, and I'm sure all over the country, you know, have caused me serious, you know, life cha life changing injuries, unseen injuries, um, due to them and their police cohorts randomly arresting people over hashtags over minor things, throwing a man of 59 years of age with numerous health complaints. Well, I won't go through them personal information anyway but yeah uh, due to them denying me my life preserving medication uh, I'm now looking at an early grave I don't know how early just yet so I'll have to wait till I get the letter but um, yeah so in Cheshire and I'm sure all over the UK these jobs worth group four security guards that's all they are basically isn't it glorified glorified screws um, yeah, but it just, you know, I mean, on one occasion, the first time, when I'm sure I had, I had a stroke, um, I've suffered from problems ever since, I actually had some of these tablets in my bloody wallet, in my wallet with my phone, and, and they wouldn't, they wouldn't even, they were too lazy, despite speaking to the nurse, telling them about all these health problems, you know, just got threw back in, threw back in a, a fucking kennel, a, a runcorn kennel. And I wasn't offered any medications, kept asking shift after shift. And they keep you in for 26 hours or longer. They routinely go over the 24 hour limit. It doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter. You can be, you can be, have mental disabilities, you can be in absolute agony, you can have learning disabilities, you can be disabled, it doesn't matter. You'll still get ignored, you still won't get a shower, you still won't get any exercise, and you still will not get your life preserving or pain relief medication. So all over the UK, by Group 4 and other, in, other jobs of employees, British people like you, like me, your sons, your daughters, your granddads, in my case, um, are routinely having their lives put in jeopardy and being tortured by these <laughs> government employed jobs with us. And um, I say I've just been just been a local just been a local hospital and, and they actually turned around and said, Oh well we're admitting you now. I said, No you're not. I said and I don't I don't want your stupid jab either. 
as far as I'm concerned, the NHS are just another arm of government. That's all they are now, isn't it? The way they promote women, it's abortion, genocide. They disempower, empower all the women, just like the social services and the probation do, and disempower all the males. Just feminazis running the whole show. Absolute female Nazis. It's high time, high time men who grew some balls and who claim some equality back because, we're, especially working class men and boys, uh, we're actually an inferior species now as far as these these big headed, fat assed with these social workers and with these solicitor women are and these and court women. Some of them aren't too bad. And I had one of them. I was excused. I was supposed to give evidence. At, this is a witness at this trial, and I, I really didn't want to. And then I showed, I showed the courts, you know, people, handed it to me. I said, "Could you, could you show that to the magistrates or judge, please?" Because I'm sure I shouldn't be having to give evidence when something from a brain problem. And and, and straight away, given the due, straight away they excused me. But a few weeks later, oh yeah, but they, they were going to drag me over. 350 miles to try and breach me with probation, trying to breach me. <laughs> oh, do you still want to speak to you? I said, no. I said, oh, are you not going to, are you not going to blame me for this? Stephanie said, well, we're going to blame. They've lied to me repeatedly just to show support for that, that feminazi little slut I used to be with Lisa. Yeah, it's your fault and you've lied. Just like the social workers lied. Just like the buddy, just like... Dirty little rat PC field lied when he was ringing up and giving advice to my missus, probably getting fucking blowjobs off her. Everybody else has. If you, if you didn't get them, if you didn't get them Bradley, you were missing out. Everybody else has had them. And the rest.